Hi everyone, welcome to another short episode of Roots Blowers in Detroit. Um, he's me just struggling with the rattle gun, um, sort of stripping out, getting the mutt stripped. So here's a little bit for everyone. So much. Where have you been to? Well, I've been in the office. <laughs> but yeah. So I think take. I was thinking take that narrow one inch edge off. Yep. And then just a stainless steel flat bar all the way, all the way across. That so way, then it becomes. So cut it like right here and here. Well, yeah, or even just if it cleans up, or I right, just. Oh, just, just on. On. Like a doubler over the whole thing. Yeah. So you reckon if I just needle gun all of this, then we'll, we'll see, see how we'll, bad it see is. See how bad it is. If not, then I'll just get the nine inch grinder. Maybe. I reckon you better than that. What do they call the gouging tips on the oxy? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got yeah, the oxy yeah, there. The so just, just cut such a pain. And then just put stainless all on there. Because that way, yeah. if they're not a pain, it hasn't got to be painted. Yeah. Because most of this won't get bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I do like the stainless rubbing strip. I think that's yeah, a really so nice the, idea. The whole flat bit in stainless would be even better. Yeah. And that's, that's the new. Oh, the new angle you're going for. Well, that's what I think so, yeah. The yeah, new cut angle. the whole transom off. That's going to be really cool. So, and then ends at the fuel filler. Yep. So, and then I'll put a, take the back deck off and I'll put a chain, a stainless metal. With the towing. Yeah, yeah, and a nice linked chain back gun. Yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. just unclip it and you won't walk off the back if you're not. Yeah, if you're walking yeah, back. You're not, yeah, you're not paying yeah. attention. Oh, amazing coincidence. I was looking through Rob's yard. I oh, found right. a bit of metal that is the perfect shape. Oh, really? Oh, you found, I just found that. Look at that. Beautiful. What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances of finding a bit of metal that is the exact fit for there? <laughs> how, much time, how much time did I save you by finding oh, that? Oh, thousands of hours. <laughs> but, yeah, so I think, yeah, I think the same across the back. This corner's a bit thin there, but yeah, yeah. Just drawing it, like, or yeah. just, or I just, or I just get the grinder and go, yeah. Yeah. Have a look. I reckon needle gun it, see what we see. Yeah. And even if we needle gun like a section and then go, all oh. right, that's probably the same position as the rest. Yeah. Because you could get to the point where if you actually cut the whole thing off and then just rather than even doing a job, yeah, you're leaving it up for you. Uh, <laughs> you've already, you've already. <laughs> and then what on the other side? Huh? <laughs> so so I'm leaving it up for you. Um, but, yeah. So. Yeah, you could even do a bit of stainless like that the whole way. Yeah, like that's like a, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you get a piece folded sort of thing in there. Mm. Or even like a piece of stainless pipe where the outer diameter is the same as here. Yeah. You yeah. put the pipe in well the top and the bottom. You just split it all the way that way. I wouldn't even split it. Just literally put a piece of pipe oh, in. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. rest of the pipe can fit inside the pipe. Awesome. Yeah. It really strong. Absolutely. And it would look really nice with that it nice, would. just like that over there. Yeah. yeah, watch out, that might be. Is that me? Yeah. Hey, what? About time you did some work. Fuck off. <laughs> I just got in there and I did all the big stuff. I feel bum. Look, that's all he's done all day. What, make noise? Decided that he wasn't allowed a needle gun, he needed to practice and how to use a chicken hammer for progressing into the needle gun. Come in, come in. Come in. Okay, now can we chuck green eyes a daisy? Go on, it does. You? We're allowed to chuck brown eyes at the Asian tourists? Go on. No, you can't do that. I do like the idea of the half pipe. Yeah, just right round. Mm. I wonder, even though, uh, like, mate, what? Oh, yeah, so like, by the time it touched here, like, all this eaten edge would just be filled with well. Yeah, so, I, even then, I just got a bit of angle on, but then it would be just like a pointy fucking knife edge. Oh, it's not out of the question. But, what about. It'd probably wear pretty fast though. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. So, think the round and split it down the gut. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you look at how much this dips in. Yeah. It's, it's probably a... thin, but you've, you've got a good corner. If you put it on. Yeah, it's right, you've got a good corner to fill up. Tack it all. Just leave everything else in place. I think so. I think I'm, I'm with you on this one, Stu. 
Yeah. Which makes you wonder, well, should, I, should I start needle gunning the hole? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if there's old steel in here... It ain't gonna matter. No. All you do is grind a clean edge to weld onto. That's right. And Sand. if you're running along with the 90s, I'll just rip that off. Yeah. Just give yourself a little bevel. Super nearly got a bevel on it, too. Yeah, yeah. Nature's done Nature's the work, done the work <laughs> for you. <laughs> so, yeah, I reckon... And this is your prize for today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Take away. Yeah. Piece piece of of a piece of wood. A piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should auction them off. People like to buy a piece of wood. Be careful you advertise that. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you reckon? Keep going here, or... I reckon maybe... Maybe just get the flaky stuff off. Just get the heavy flaky stuff, <laughs> knock that off and then that'll be it. And then we'll just, oh, you know, sort of work out. Well, that'll be, whatever that is will be the nominal diameter we need. Yeah, was it two and a half inch or something? Yeah. And then finding out the cost of... Splitting it. Splitting it in half. If not, we'll just split it itself. But... Yeah, yeah, but it's one of those jobs. If someone can split that... Yeah. Like a four metre length. Well, for you. even maybe what about a bit of like four mil and get it d d d d folded or like a suit? You could. Yeah, and maybe not even see like like a angle. Yeah, so like just, a, just three bends, yeah. Yeah. It's not out of the question. That might be easier than trying to um, cut a tube. Talking steel guy. Yeah. They say. Because those that can put the tube in the guillotine, like. No. It'll be a bandsaw type. Bandsaw or um, water blasting cut. Yeah. Like a real high pressure. Yes. Would you like a piece of my sausage? Yeah. Uh, a sausage, not necessarily yours. You're, oh, well, a, piece of, you're a, a sausage that I brought this morning. <laughs> Only bit between two buttons. Okay. <laughs> With plenty of sauce. Okay. So, punch the pin out. Punch the pin out. I'm going to just say something else. I'm about to punch something else, but anyway. <laughs> Too easy. Now you got to punch, need a punch to get your punch out. That'd be right. Oh, look at that. Look at the strings. Right. So, what do you reckon? I reckon it's either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Mm, but... We've got a leading edge here we could have a... Have a quick look at. So, it screws that way. So if I screw in a bolt in, that'd be right in Fred. Yep. Right. You reckon they'd have put some nut sides on this so you can undo it? Have you got a block of wood to stop it rotating? I was just going to put your foot in there. Yeah, okay, fair enough. You could use the block of wood off the, um, off the back of the gunnels if you like. <laughs> Looks a bit heavy. There's a nice, there's some soft bits plate there. Yeah. We don't have How big are your jaws? Just, just come on! So I'm gonna open a beer bottle with a fucking <laughs> lip, so maybe this will work. <laughs> Close, yeah. Pleasantly surprised that um, using it? the propeller and mm, um, maybe the size. Maybe look, hang on, I was looking the, was looking the phone. Engine and, um, nah. nah. So it'll be interesting to see what it goes like now once oh, it's all um, when so all the bottoms all cleaned and painted. Um, looking forward to seeing how it performs. It's amazing here, just the cavitation as the blade came through. Before that was worn, there must have been almost no clearance. Before that got eaten away, there must have been almost no clearance. So that maybe that's why. Given it's reinforced on the bottom, I'd be almost inclined not to build that up again. Mm, just clean it up. Clean it, but maybe it's... clean it and do like a very fine, just a nice hard, put a hard layer there mm. without building it up. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, just put some hard facing there to give mm. it a, a strong edge. Yep. All right. Oh! Didn't expect that to go so easily, did you? No, I didn't. Oh, look, someone's put some nice never sees on there. It's 
a beautiful oh, thing. Got a nice stainless washer on the back there. Yeah, right. Good. Hmm. Excellent. Doesn't look like it's been chafing or anything. There's been no rapid gear changes. Yeah, right. Right. Now, let's see how we get this bit off. The world's biggest puller or a block of wooden hammer? I thought I was the world's biggest puller. <laughs> okay. It didn't work. Maybe just, what do you reckon, give it a tap around the gut first and then... Yeah, try and break the... And don't tap near the edges because you'll swell the brass. Yeah, right. And then you won't have a nice... Oh, nice space to... Um, tighten up on it. <laughs> Gonna need a big hammer. Again. Again, right. <laughs> Just finish it. <laughs> right. Smart move. Not a smart man. <clears throat> There's such a fine line between a smart man and a smart move. There is, isn't it? If you look you at the size of the hammer I picked up, it was actually pathetically small. I may as well have been cutting gaskets with it anyway. Mm. Wasn't thinking, I think, one too many sizes there for that one. Heat it a little bit. Hey? Heat it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, probably could with the oxy, but the oxy there. Yeah, it's right here, isn't it? I'll help while he's gone. I feel like I've uh, burnt my uh, sausage sandwich now. Who's a cutie? Sorry, I'm filming. Oh, who's a cutie? Oh, I'm filming. Oh, who's a cutie? Filming. There you go, you can both be in the shot. <laughs> Oh, 
turn this headlight on first so the oxygen blows the flame out. Oh, that fucking bottle. It's the same every time I work. I just knock so many drinks out. I love the way the grease here just keeps dripping. <laughs> it's just been a constant turd. Yeah. Ah, coming. Here we go. It's her. Yep. There was probably some better methods to get the prop off. Um, probably pullers and things like that. But a bit of heat with the brass would just grow a bit. Um, and a couple of slaps with the big hammer. Certainly did the job. There she goes. Put that in the acid bath. Yeah, may as well. Look at that. Nice stainless steel keyway. Very nice shaft. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no worries. Well, you did like my sausage earlier. <laughs> Only because it was wrapped in bacon. These two are sick. <laughs> sick. You'd never get sick of us. I've got to put that on there to protect the end of the frets. Yeah, how about you put it on properly? How about I just fuck the end of the frets while I'm trying to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So did you point. take that off just to clean it? No, I'm going to drop the shaft because there is a bit of... Yeah, a bit of play. There is a bit of play. Oh, okay. So, and also you're saying you think there might be a seal in... Yeah, I think there might be a seal here. So, done some funny nice nice machining, nice things mm. when making this. And they did it with the rudder shaft. It's all well made. It's got a seal, got mm -hmm. a nice bronze bush in it. Yep. It's quite well made. And it hasn't got a bush in the end of the rudder post, but it sits in there in water, like... Yeah. Probably doesn't really... Yeah, make much difference. Probably doesn't make much difference. Maybe this is just a better on my mantelpiece. Yeah. What mantelpiece? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks. I'll get some of my grey here while I get some of yours out. Yeah. yeah. He didn't like me telling me he had grey hairs. She did. She did the cutthroat <laughs> razor on my head this week again. Good job. Good job. You'll have to go and get a haircut there, Stu. Oh, is this your... Yeah, the barber lady did the work. That's the work. Um, this is uh, fitting out the, the bearing for the end of the pop shaft. Actually, got um, proper seals and a packing seal in there. Um, very much similar to the end of a caterpillar ram or ram hydraulic ram seal, um, which I'm led to believe is what is in here. Cool. Um, right. Same with the bushing for the pop shaft. Too strong. Too strong. Some sort of caterpillar bush. Um, made by Caterpillar for their range. So once I get it, you'll see it out in a minute. Um, we'll get it out and I'll press it all apart and we'll have a look to see. Um, I haven't done that as of yet.
Looks a bit better. Yeah, right. Find the leak. Oh, you. You put it, you put it, no, I Hydro lock. <laughs> well, a bit of lube, bit of lube on a little, on a Sunday morning. Hello. What are you doing? Hello. Ooh, bit of water coming out that one. Yeah. Should have had some flat washers on them, I reckon. What do you reckon? Maybe hmm. he's got to seal the hole, maybe, I don't know. Copper washers, isn't it? Yeah. But then copper washers can lose tension if it starts. Yeah, right, compressing. Yeah, or trying to push the bear and housing or something. Something like that. Yeah. How's that? Beauty. So it does have a seal there. Interesting. Uh, my, my theory is I would probably make that flange a bit wider. This first two plate. Two seals, one one way, one the other. Come off. Yeah, okay. Exactly. So the there's stops a, the a seal is and like a packing mm -hmm. ring just to help, or and wiper then, yeah. seal to help keep the water out from up the shaft. And then inside the next carrier that comes out is the bearing. Interesting. But is it the wrong one? Is it in backwards? Is that spring towards the water though? It's all right, isn't it? Okay. Well, there's two seals here. Is one? Is that a seal in there? Yeah, like a wiper type seal. Yep. And then a normal oil type seal in the back there. Yeah, right. Okay. Interesting. And then that one's in the wrong way to, per se, to stop travel up the shaft. Is that a third in there though, or not? Yeah, there's another one there. Interesting. So if there's a cutlass bearing behind there, I mean it's not going to see, once it drops though, once the bearing wears, your seals aren't going to the seal, seal are they? Yeah, uh, that's right. But it doesn't leak much soot water. No, I was impressed. It just, yeah. Just, just, just as a tiniest little bit of drip. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So this is um, a bit different than most boats. I, yeah, I, I mean, not that I've seen a lot of inboards, but I haven't seen that before. Yeah, I haven't seen... Mostly I've seen them with the mechanical seal up there and it's all... Get, get yeah, water up yeah, the just the there. packing up there and... Interesting. This is quite a bit different. There's another bear in here, isn't here? Yeah, that's what it is. It splits, does it? Yeah, it's got a pitch that chisel there. The one that goes on that thing. The one that doesn't get hit with the hammer. Yeah, that's right. See it's splitting this side at all. It's cracking. Yeah, it's yeah. starting to. Oh, yeah. Probably not using a tip, 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 tap, tap, I'll use a big hammer. I probably really should have had a good look at what I was doing, but there is jacking bolt holes. So if you can see them in the shot there, then you'll see what I'm saying. Um, but got it out with the chisel and the chisel probably yes, would have been like a, as said, price due. Definitely got the air chisel. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Hang on, 
there's another pry bar here, get both sides. Yep. Hmm, maybe. Oh. Oh. It's stopped. <clears throat> uh, Stu, yep. it does appear that the clever person who made this bracket yep. actually put jacking bolts in there, look. Yeah, right, yeah, it's threaded. <laughs> They were thinking ahead, unlike us. Unlike this, we just wanted to butcher it and drive it out at um, 100 rate on air with a hammer. I might leave that till we undo the other end, because it all... Oh well, won't matter, will Is it? Is there oil in it, you reckon? Water was leaking out. I reckon if there was any oil, it's gone. Yep. Okay. Sleeve comes out. Yeah. That's interesting. How long do you reckon that is? It doesn't look like it's freeing up yet. No. There. Scored from a seal or no, it's like a nick on it or something? Oh, there wasn't a locking screw? But it'd be a score lengthways than if there was. Maybe that's a pin for the bush or something to stop it turning. Mm. Or maybe that's a thing for the oil to get down the shaft. That's mm. been welded up. Yeah, it's definitely got some yeah, that's been dag on it, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah that's definitely... I would say that was an oil to lube the bearing. If this came out a huge distance, it probably wouldn't have the little jack screw threads because what's the point of them if you can't? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just stuck on there. But mm. why is it pulling this still? Hmm. Dunno. So you can see it wasn't too much of a drama to get out, but it's just, um, water, isn't just it? on another That's note, um, dirty people, water. the boat's in a private yard, so please don't come and so, show up. Um, I'm wondering if it's you know, not where something it is, up That's here. fine, but please don't come and show up. Respect yeah, the right. owner of the property's the privacy, post, and, <laughs> and oh, yeah, otherwise it, I won't have anything nice to say, and I don't want any bad experiences with anyone. I want everyone to, to enjoy it. So please well, but, just even, don't uh, come looking for where the boat is or yeah, it won't right. be a happy yeah. ending for anyone. Um, thank you. So, three seals. Yeah. Get the torch up there and have a look. I think there's a torch on the back there. Oh yeah, there is a There's holes there. Like, so much, yeah, their channels, they're definitely machined, aren't they? Well, they look like channels yeah. right around. Is that, a, is that your finger or is that a locking grub screw that's dragged? There's a locking grub screw in there. Yeah, it's grabbed on the way out, isn't it? Where is it? Top of here or something? Surely they're not. Because that'd just be... Yeah, that's a little hole in there. Yeah. Because how would you get to the other one? Huh? There's no floor, floor up there. No, but it's not. that's not something that was... Oh, no, because it's right back here, but it could be in the side here somewhere. So that was at the top. Yeah, okay. So that's been that way before. Yeah, gotcha. There's definitely something in that... or something in there. Mm. And there's the bush. That's rooted. Drag that bit of shit around that shaft. 
Yeah, right. So the cutlass bearings pressed into there, and then the whole thing's it's yeah. interesting. Which? Different? Yeah. Different, but yeah. Easy, to, easy to do. Yeah, sure. Because the front's the same. Well, it's, it's easier than. Mm. So you don't have to oh, the, okay. So there's the, there's the plant packing, then this. Yeah, right. Into the, into the stern tube the it's button. quite clever. So you could do that with, you could actually do your cutlass bearing without taking your prop shaft, prop out. shaft out. Yeah. And if you really were brave, you could probably, if you knew you had a reasonably good seal, you could probably do it. Has that seal cut there at all? Or is it? Yeah, that's given it a bit of curry. Yeah. There's like a lump there, actually, rather than a groove. Well, that's the paint there. Yeah, is it okay? It's coming closer. No. Nah. Oh. No, I've thought of that before. And I'll drop it and send a piece of rag there, have this too. You just you can stay over there. There you go, down. Yeah, just it's a bit of wear there where the shaft's been running. Yeah. Around. Speedy sleeve. It could. Yeah. No reason why it could? No, exactly. Probably would be, but then just as long as they put the bearing in first, and then yeah. Put the, um, Hi Adam. Oh, yeah. Adam loves being on camera. <laughs> this is Adam. Adam likes to be on camera. You got your shaft out, have you? <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, when doesn't he? So this is just not to thank everyone for watching this week. Um, this is just the last bits of the cutlass bearing and everything. Just a few still shots of it. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And um, there'll be another video very shortly. Once I work out how to get them out better, faster, longer, shorter. All that stuff.